Hey everyone! So today I'm here to review the Urban Decay Naked Illuminating Shimmering Powders. They individually retail for $29 US, $35 in Canada, they contain 0.20 ounces of product, and they're available in two shades. They're said to be a lightweight baked powder for face and body with a sophisticated microfine shimmer that instantly leaves skin with an iridescent shimmer. Aura is described as a soft pink shimmer with golden iridescent sparkle, and Luminous is described as a champagne shimmer with iridescent shimmer. The packaging is a thick cardboard box that features two compartments. The top section contains a mirror and the highlighter, and the bottom section contains a brush. While it is convenient, it is fairly bulky, so it may not be as easily stored as you had hoped. Aura is a soft peachy pink with warm undertones, gold shimmer, and a frosted finish. Luminous is a soft champagne beige with warm undertones, white shimmer, and a frosted finish. The texture of both of the highlighters felt chalky straight from the pan, but was incredibly soft, silky, and finely milled once applied to the skin. Both shades had good color payoff, and the shimmer was noticeable once applied. I found the shimmer and texture of Aura was a lot finer than Luminous, which made it look more natural. The product applies and blends out easily, leaving a very sparkly, almost metallic finish to the skin that doesn't emphasize the look of pores or imperfections surprisingly. Because these powders are a baked product, they are quite delicate, and there is going to be a lot of loose excess powder sitting in the pan despite what type of brush you use. Whether it be a fluffy brush like a fan brush, a more dense brush, or even the brush that comes housed in the compact. With that said, the powder also doesn't adhere to skin very well. Just like in the pan, there is going to be excess loose powder sitting on your face that's best to blow away or remove to avoid transferring. The shimmer in the product feel very, very light, so they can fly away and transfer very easily to other parts of your face, your clothes, your hair, etc. So if you're the kind of person that tends to touch their face a lot, you may want to avoid this product unless you literally want shimmer everywhere. But it's a very fine shimmer and it's very pretty. Another great way that I've been using these powders besides applying them to my face as a highlight is I like to lightly mist an eyeshadow brush and apply the product to the center of my eyelid. These powders really add a little extra something even to the most neutral, natural of looks. So overall, these highlighters look absolutely beautiful in the pan and swatched. For those of you who love an intensely sparkly highlighter, you will definitely love these face powders, but for those who like a more natural, subtle type of highlight or more natural appearance, then you may want to take a rain check on these ones. Personally, I'm kind of on the fence about these highlighters. I love a sparkly, intense, frosted sort of highlight finish, but the fact that these transfer so easily kind of takes away from it. I do like using them as a highlight when I'm in the mood for it, but I mostly love using these, again, to apply into the center of my eyelid for just a little something extra. So be sure to let me know in the comments below if you've checked these out, if there's something you'd be interested, or what type of highlighter you tend to gravitate towards. Do you like something that's a little more out there and glowy and vibrant, or do you like something that's more natural and looks like almost nothing at all? As always, don't forget to check out my blog for more details, photos, and swatches, as well as like, comment, and subscribe to show your support. If you'd like to give me a follow, I will have all of my social media listed here, as well as down in the description. As I always say, I hope you found this review helpful, and I hope that you have a fantastic day, and thank you so much for watching.